guys how you guys are doing girl what is all this lint Ooh, hoo, hoo. Mm -mm. she never ready that would be i i'm she so <laughs> anyway y'all how y'all doing it's time for another chit chat because i ain't washed my hair we're gonna get into that but um, y'all know how we do this. I talk about what's going on in my personal life, what I'm watching on YouTube, and what I'm watching on TV. Girl, it'll be a lot. It will be a lot. So y'all, first off, my lips are feeling crusty. I stopped by personal life. I stopped by Walgreens to pick up. I was looking, specifically looking for this lipstick or it's called Glam by Milani. This is Very Hot Too by Revlon. This is here, you see that color? Let me take it out. It's like a blush. Look at that. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Normally, I layer it, but we ain't, go, we ain't got time for that. My lips are dry as hell. I know that I lightly exfoliated this morning and I've been wearing um, Vaseline lip gloss, but I need to be drinking more water. That's what it boils down to. So y'all, what we're doing in this chit chat, I'm gonna open up a box because I'm in shopping. Hear me out. My bills are paid. I'm, I'm doing good by paying all my, I've always been pretty good about paying my bills, but I'm doubling the payment on my credit cards. That is my sure fine way to get out of debt because I take the lowest amount. It's a David, David Ramsey method, the snowball method. I take the lowest amount and I pay more than what is due. So if the credit card payment is 45 a month, I'm paying 55 a month. At this point, I'm paying twice a month. I only have 500 left on that credit card. Girl, why don't I tell y'all all this? I guess my point is, is that I'm paying my debt not down. And um, I'm buying stuff, <laughs> again, from Amazon. Now, Amazon, quiet as it kept, Amazon kind of pissed me off. This is the first time, well, not the first time they, they made me upset, but the first time where I've actually had to say no to an order coming because it just was delayed and delayed and delayed and i have a i'm a very patient person i really am y'all and i have a feeling that uh, some of this delay has to do with the weather girl we're gonna talk about that too but i ordered this stuff january 5th i ordered it january 5th and <clears throat> january 18th as of two days ago it still was we're trying to locate your package okay you know what you can keep it then go ahead and keep it i called customer service twice and told told them um you can go ahead and keep it yeah you i don't want it so but in between that i was ordering <laughs> y'all see honey in between that i was ordering more stuff like it's not a lot but i probably have spent this month and it's stuff that i need you guys it's vitamins it's it's some stuff I don't need. Some stuff I want. Let's just keep it real. But some stuff I, I needed, especially with the order I canceled. That was a lot of household stuff that I had in that. And I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and cancel it and see what I can find here locally and for me. But y'all, we're going to get into what I ordered here in a minute. But let's talk about some stuff. JB turned 11 last week, y'all. I was all in my feelings. I was trying hard not to cry. I cried a few times. And so what him and I did is we went to Meow Wolf here in Dallas. It's at the, what mall was that at? Was it Grand Perry? Garland? Girl, ain't no damn Garland. Where is the mall at, y'all? Child, I forgot. But after that, we went to the we went to the Lux Cafe, and the Lux Cafe is a hit or miss. I went there because JB loves their pancakes. He just likes pancakes in general. So I went there, got him some pancakes, and we just had a good time overall. But honey, me Owl Wolf is a full on asset trip. The way I can explain it, it's an event, and there's a story behind it. It's basically a house, and it's it's so dope like if you have i don't know the only other location i can think of is in vegas but don't quote me on that i'm not too sure but basically there's a house you go in this house and there's different mazes and different rooms I don't, if you suffer from anything like dizziness 
definitely if you have any type of seizure disorders, you can go in this thing. Like even for me, we were in that maze for like an hour and I was starting to get dizzy. Now I will say that there are a bunch of places to sit down. The reason why I'm starting to get dizzy, you guys, there's flashing lights. There's a lot of color. It is like going down the rabbit hole, Wizard of Oz. Wizard of Oz meets Andy Warhol, that artist from the 70s, 60s and 70s. Love child, but then they decided to do uh, a line of coke. Warm time. Yeah, I mean, it's cold here. And, and for any, it went down to what y'all, 18 degrees, 16 degrees. I cranked the heater up. It was so freaking cold. And it was windy. So windy and cold. You got trash cans and stuff flowing over, uh, blowing over. So, and then of course it snowed. And it was so beautiful. And JB was begging, begging, begging to go outside. I didn't really want him to, but you, you, you're only a child once, right? He only gets this one lifetime. So I let him go outside, bundled him up, and let him go outside and play in the snow. Um, and then school was shut down. We had the Monday off for Martin Luther King Day, and then they shut down the school on Tuesday. Don't y'all know that these kids has, haven't had, at this point, it would have been almost six weeks since they've had a full week of school. When I tell you I am going crazy, um, I'm going to go ahead and put JB back in swimming lessons. Swim lessons, excuse me, because eventually I want him to get into something that's competition. Competition swimming. I really... I'm trying to have my child to find something that he likes to do to where he's a preteen. I don't want him stuck as a teenager with nothing that he can <clears throat> be involved in that's competitive. I think that's really important. So there is construction going everywhere. There's two houses being built right in our neighborhood. Across the street, there's a whole nother neighborhood being built. Um, what's the point, girl? I noticed that my my orange light or that yellow light is on it means your tire is low and i'm thinking oh okay my tire is low because it's cooler and with cooler weather sometimes your air your tire gets low i'm like okay i'll, I'll go get some air. girl jb and i were somewhere this morning oh at the doctor's office as i go into the doctor's office i look down at the tire on my side the driver's side there's a freaking nail I said, you have got to be kidding me. Because I don't have time. Because today I have stuff that I definitely have to get to. And I don't have time. But I need to get that done because, I, again, I'm trying to go see my sister and get all that done and kill Gordon in two days. So I need to get this tire look at. So I called the place that I went to last time where that lesbian helped me. I called and I'm like, um, and she answers. I'm like, is this Melissa? I really didn't say Melissa. And she's like, you looking for Lewis? I said, no, Melissa. She said, no, no. I said, oh, I'm sorry. Um, what does y'all wait like for a repairing a tire? And she said, we got about an hour. So I'm like, okay, I'm on my way. I get there. And there's a couple of new people there, which is a place like this. Turnover is high. But I see she's on her cell phone in the back. I mean, y'all, that was country. She's on her cell phone in the back, right? And I said, hey, Melissa. And she turns around and wave. <laughs> then as I go to the front, the guy was like, her name ain't Melissa. I said, but she waved at me. <laughs> so he started laughing. He said, her name is Wendy. I said, okay. Well, that's okay, Wendy. I'm sorry. So child, long story short, go ahead. I'm like, what's the wait like? He's like an hour and a half. Baby, it's 1030. I'm like, you know what? Fine. I'll wait. And so while we're there, I can hear her. She's young, y'all. Like, I've mentioned this before in one of my um, videos. She's very young. Like, young enough to be my child. She's 22, 23. Which, technically, yeah, because I'm 43. But anyway, I can hear her stressed out. And she's even talking to the other, the her co-workers. And I'm, I'm nosy. I'm ear, ear hustling. And she gets a little close to me. And she's talking to me. And she's like, I, I can't believe that. Basically, <clears throat> she accidentally transferred, like, some money to a Venmo account that she no longer can get access to. So, hold on. She's trying to get her money out of there. And they're saying, we can transfer it, but it's going to take about a week for you to get it. And she is stressed. I mean, she's calling people. I, I can hear her. And I approach her. I'm like, Melissa. 
No, I said, Wendy, what's going on, girl? She's like, um, these people, they're telling me that it's going to take a while for me to get my money. And even the other guy came on. He was an older black guy. He said, you just keep calling them. You know, you just keep calling and talking to certain people. And so she was just stressed night. She's like, my wife is going to kick my ass because we got the we got a birthday party coming up. And we got all this money, blah, 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 blah. She's stressing out. This is going on for a good 30 minutes. <clears throat> so something told me. I said, okay, you know what, Vivian? Let me bless this young woman. I, I got the extra money. I have it. I'm going to bless her. So I said, hey, baby. Y'all, I'm from the South. We we call everyone baby. That's just what we do. Texas, Louisiana, Florida, you baby. Especially if you young, you baby. So I said, baby, let me um let me bless you. You got cash app? She said, yes, ma'am. I said, so give, give me your cash app. So I gave her. I blessed her with someone. I ain't going to tell you the bunch, but she was so happy. She said, oh, this is going to make things so much easier. I said, it's not a lie. She said, no, but this is going to help. Because I'm not even going to miss that money. I's not, I'm not trying to be cocky, but if I can buy all this little stuff that I know I don't need, I can give somebody uh, some change. You see what I'm saying? So um, my car was done, and the older man who was helping me um, earlier during the day, and he was just noticing my interaction. He said, okay, Miss Vivian, your car is ready. Here you go. Have a nice day. I said, so how much is it? He said, uh-uh, you can go. And Melissa, no, Wendy comes around. She said, uh-uh, you can go. We ain't going to charge you. You can go. I'm like, thank y'all. Yeah, I'm going to get to the other stuff because there was a lot going on today. Then I go to Walgreens, right, because I'm looking for this lipstick because my, my eyes is like this, and I need to be like this, right? So as I'm getting out, <clears throat> I notice there's a car next to me, a big truck, and I get out, and I hear someone say, hey, Ma, I turned around. It's some some vanilla like like what was his name jack jack frost <laughs> jack henry what that kid name that that y'all don't know any of these rappers the, that white rapper he kind of looks like him right so justin bieber is in the car he said hey ma uh i turn around i'm like hey um do you mind will you go get me some black and mild i said <laughs> Strike number one, you calling me ma. This is what I'm saying in my thinking on my head. Strike number two. I said, baby, how old are you? He's like 19. I said, no. No, I'm not getting you no cigarettes. No, no black and mouth. He starts smiling and I left. Go in, get my lipstick, get my lemon lemon heads. Oh, yeah, I'm tired. And I go back outside. He's still parked there. His door is slightly open. And me being country, all I do is, and I said, I said, you still here? And the man behind me started laughing. And he opened up the door. I went around. I said, you still here? I finally get a good look of his face. And I recognize him. Y'all, this place is small. Forney is small. You can see the same people out. And I recognize him. I said, I recognize you. Didn't you used to work at the donut, sh donut shop? He said, yeah. I said, you're going to ask me to buy you some cigarettes. You can, get me, you can get me arrested. In passing, he's told me some stuff about his family. This happens to me a lot, you guys, where people will just... Flat out, just tell me all the business, and I listen to them. You know, whatever it is, and I, you know, if they want my advice, I give it to them. But more of the time, most of the time, people just want someone to talk to, and just want someone to listen. So I've spoken to him in passing a few times, and so I don't know if he recognized me and felt like he could ask me, um, get a flu shot, girl. Hell no. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I got a message, but anyway, I came back out and I was like, I recognize you. And I know I'm in talking to you, I know you a good kid. He said, Thank you, but um I said, So you, you can't be asking nobody to buy you some cigarettes. That's illegal. He said, You're the only one I ask. I said, Well, good. Well, he said, I'm about to go to work. I said, Yeah, take your ass on to work because I know I'm the same age as your mama. You need to go to work. He said, Yeah, I'm gonna go to work now. Go to get <laughs> you want me up in Shawshank trying to get you some black and mouth. Uh-uh. You can get no, I need for you to stop. So y'all, let me show y'all what I ordered real quick. I got me some elderberry gummies for my immune system because, yeah, we need to get it together. I got me some b Or. This is the Shiznits. I love this stuff for my skin. I am using that um, bar soap from The Good Ordinary, but I like to use this every now and then. I also purchased a new... If I can get into it. <clears throat> a band for my Apple Watch. Like this. I don't like this. I don't like... Yeah, let me stop. I'm going to send this back. I don't like that green looking. This looks like some shit you get out of the... Um, you put a quarter in. No, you, you no, this is going to be 50 cents. You need two quarters. I will be sending this back. Because I, I know I won't wear this. If I don't like it, I won't wear it. And I got some... Um, 
<laughs> I got some lingerie. You see her? She's she. This is Beyonce. So let's see what it looks like. My color purple. Girl, yeah. I don't know where this 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 thing ain't gonna fit nothing. But this is cute. This is cute. See, it's like a a dress little slip on thing. The titty pockets probably, yeah. The boot, the boot pockets, pockets would be okay. That's cute, huh? So I'm gonna hand wash this. She gonna be fine. Yeah, that's cute. So I always hand wash all this little stuff underwear. You gotta do that, y'all. But you never know. All right, y'all. Let me hush up. What I'm watching on YouTube. Let me tell you something. 2024 is already ghetto. It is so much revelation, so many things coming out. I'm not even going to get into everything, but this year is already ghetto as hell. There is so much going on with these celebrities that is ridiculous. Um, I follow certain people on social media. Let me put some more of this lipstick on, y'all. Peter from the Real Housewives franchise, Cynthia's ex. Peter, I saw a post he did a couple of, it's been a, a couple of days now, half crying, playing the victim. Long story short, child, he was arrested for DUI. No, I think he didn't have no, no, he didn't have nothing on him. No insurance, no nothing. Now, Peter, you know they're going to take your old ass to jail. And I don't know if he was really, I saw his mug shot. I don't know if he was just really intoxicated or he had been crying, but his eyes were red blood shot. Isn't he like almost 60 acting like this? This is ridiculous. Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather is sharing so many cute, um, and I'm seeing it on YouTube. He's sharing all of these little cute clips of his grandchild, his grandson. So adorable. I absolutely love the relationship <clears throat> that I see, relationship that I see blossom with grandparents when they are unsure and sometimes i don't want to say necessarily angry but let down when their children make i don't even want to say make mistakes i don't i don't feel like any life is a mistake when their children make choices in life and as a parent you always want your children to do the best so <clears throat> from what i understand he was really really just not so happy when his daughter got pregnant because she's young. And you know what the struggle is. I'm assuming him. So you don't want your child to struggle, especially when you have tried to teach them better. But the baby is here. He is adorable. He's a toddler now. Everything about him is, is I just like the grandfather, Floyd, is what I'm saying. It's, it's a beautiful thing. Child, I miss, I miss, I miss. I, you know, what I'm going to be focused on, y'all, for this year, I'm definitely going to make sure that I hit my goals because the past few years, I've been all over the place. I'm trying to get back on a schedule of doing stuff. I'm trying really hard. But like I said, these past few weeks have been a struggle. But I, I am really trying. I'm going to have to do better. Um, but like I said, 2024, <clears throat> definitely trying to be a little bit more goal-oriented. Goal and buying your business like, look, I, I consider myself a fairly happy ass person. And that's because I mind my business. Whatever you have going on in your life, whatever you have going on, as long as it doesn't affect me and my coin, I could care less. I, I'm going to be honest. If it doesn't affect me, my immediate family and my money, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. <clears throat> you see so many people on social media, just in general, just acting like a, a hot pocket upset over stuff that they you have no effect on i, I don't care <laughs> don't care don't care really don't so <laughs> girl what is this her name is look her name is english jackson you know what i don't like that name all right y'all so what i'm watching on tv baby i told y'all i shared a picture on my community page i tried to watch 50 Shades of Grey for the first time. Now, I heard little bits and pieces of it. Now, what I didn't know, spoiler, I'm talking loud. What I didn't know is that it was full on nudity. Hold on. And let me just say this. Little titties matter because homegirl was completely flat chested. Like, a minus A. Like, but to me, y'all, 
And I know that there's this weird type of, and I hate to go there. She almost looked like she didn't even go through puberty. That's how her body looked like to me. Look, like that she's a grown woman, but the type of body, which is why Hollywood is so pathetic to not to say that every woman has to have a full on figure, but to purposely pick someone that has a body and a look of a pre adolescence is very alarming to me. Like her breasts, my, my boots were bigger than that at 11 years old. I'm just gonna be honest. Let's stay on topic. I'm sorry. That's the first thing I noticed. I was like, is this, is she playing? Is there a body double? Because it's, but again, little boots matter. And there are some women that do have that body shape. But to make for Hollywood, to, I guess my whole point is for Hollywood to purposely put a woman with that body shape, that body type, excuse me, in a movie. I think they purposely did that. There was a reason for that. Anyway, so Fifty Shades of Grey. Y'all know, those of you know, Christian Grey is a very wealthy man who has a dominant, submissive relationship with certain women. He makes them sign NDA so they don't have to talk about anything. And, and when he's trying to explain it to old girl, she's like, what do you get out of this? He's like, pleasure. And she's like, what do I get out of it? He's like, me. First off, <laughs> I would say this too. He's not even all that fine to me. The actor that plays him. To me, he looked better in that um that movie where he plays a serial killer. I don't know if it's because it was he had a little beard, but he he's not he doesn't do it for me. Now if they put Brad Pitt in that role, I'll be all for it. But girl, get to say on it. So what I have a problem with this is that well to me, I knew it was all hands. Everyone was Everyone was talking about this freaking movie when it first came out. Especially, I told you, the soccer moms were like, oh my God, you guys have got to see this. I mean, they were talking about it in the soccer mom groups. <laughs> they were talking about it in their book clubs, getting all hot and bothered. Let me tell you something. The first, the one scene where he takes her to his chamber, I'm going to call it his chamber room, open it up. You got whoops over there. You got handcuffs. You got bondage stuff, which is okay. If that's your get up, okay. You got all types of things. And then she's going around. She's like, she's quiet because she's like, she's like, what's that? He said, these are for flogging. First off, Christian, I ain't no damn cow. You ain't going to be flogging shit unless you're going to uh, put some, uh, we're going to put some A1 sauce on this. I ain't flogging a damn thing. Flogging are these tessled ropes that you, he's basically spank, spanking one. And he does it all, meaning he is the dominant and she has to submit to whatever he wants to do to her body baby then they just start talking about this arrangement and he's basically saying um you know she's like well what what if i don't like it he's like well you just gotta let me know you know just depending on what you're used to and she's like well i'm not used to it either long story short she's a virgin and when he hears that Oh, I know his his thing stood, stood straight up. He was like, you know what? Cut this off. Let's just go ahead and cut to the chase. And that's what they do to the first. I don't even think she signed the NDA by then. Did she sign it? Yeah. And I'm like, you know what? You know. She finally agrees to the terms and conditions. About, they have to go through it. All right. And one of the things, I, this is why I turned it off. <laughs> she was like, um, no, we don't. We don't pay. We don't page five. So I'm. A, I'm gonna be very, you know, crass. What what it says. No to the anal fisting and vaginal fisting. So you're just trying to like move all her intestines around. She ain't never been with nobody else. You you're just trying to really just re really rearrange all this up here. Those those my boobs. All of that, all of that gonna be rearranged. Your small intestine, your your kidneys, everything. Fist, I've heard of it. But you really think that someone's gonna, that's some nasty ass. So I turned it off. I said, you know what? <clears throat> I'm not gonna be able to do this. I'm not gonna be able to watch this. This is this is borderline. I'm not even gonna say satanic, but it's just, it's a little disturbing. But I get that there are, there's an actual community that's into that. I mean, they were talking about butt plugs. She was even, she's like, what's a butt plug? Girl, you could have Googled all this shit before the meeting. Like, seriously, he could have saved it. You wasting his time. He's a millionaire. But 
he get I think he was getting off on that conversation. He he's smiling at her. He's like, something would be wrong if you didn't have any questions. No, something wrong with your ass. A whole a whole thing. Then they got um because again I purchased I think Cinemax through YouTube or something. I think I purchased Cinemax. Um there's part two and part three. Yeah, I'm not even interested because I didn't even, I didn't even, yeah, no, I'm not doing it. So, <laughs> I turned that off and I'm back to watching Game of Thrones, baby. Y'all, I didn't finish it. So, I started all the way back to season three. I am here for it. I got my snacks ready and I, I'm going to continue to watch it. But besides that, I'm not watching anything else. Y'all, that is it. Like I said, I'm watching Game of Thrones. There's really not much more I'm watching on TV because I want to focus on finishing Game of Thrones before my uh, my trial runs out. <laughs> How am I going to get through it? It's like eight seasons. We're going to do it though. We're going to do it. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, thank you to all my new subscribers. Take care, y'all. Bye.